Good evening. So, I get asked all the time what I use for mobile Wi-Fi whilst out living my van life. For the last two years, I've been using this Huawei bar of soap looking mobile Wi-Fi 4G dongle thing. MiFi, I think it's called, um, and it's about £27 a month, unlimited, um, and I think the device was actually about £50. So basically, it's just got a battery inside, and you just stick a SIM card in the back of there, and away you go. Now, I've been using this for two years, and you see it's a bit scruffy and a bit discoloured and all that kind of thing. You can't see that at all because of the light. Um, the battery on this thing is rubbish. It has to be plugged in pretty much 24-7. Um, I've tried taking it places with me and the battery lasts no time at all. So it's not really that mobile. Um, I have had it hooked up to my uh, battery bank and all that kind of thing if I go anywhere. Uh, but also I have taken this abroad. So I've taken this to Holland. It worked just fine It connected to one of their networks over there. It cost me no more. It was just built in with the package, but Recently, uh, I've been contacted by a company that uh, make their own version of that uh, And they asked me to test it out. So in true Liam the terrible fashion I've tried my best to test it out Here's a bit of a review on that thing. Now, I'm not doing this all at once because I'm not doing that thing where I just go, yeah, this thing's really good. Uh, I've had it for five minutes and it's the best thing ever. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it through its paces and you're going to see uh, what it's like for real. So the company is called Glow Call Me. And this box that it comes in is much like the boxes that you get your iPhones in. Uh, or Apple products. It's very tight fitting. It just looks like an Apple product, which being a fan of Apple products I really like now. I'll try and get in this thing on camera Urgh! So we are in First of all, we have this little flap here. I do like good flaps uh, And we have the G4 Pro user manual inside there and then behind that we have the G4 Pro thing in me bob. Now, you're going to see a big difference between this bar of soap looking thing and then this mobile phone looking thing. The first thing I will say is I have already unboxed this because uh, I wanted to have a look at it first. The battery is completely dead, which I think is uncool. But I charged it now and there we go. Can we, can we have a look at that without the ring light affecting it? No, we can't. Anyway, it is an Android unit. I said before, I was a fan of Apple products. Been sent an Android unit. Not sure how to, how to, um, well, how to use it. Uh, and it's just like a mobile phone screen, essentially. And it's got things on it that are, well, again, bar of soap looking thing. Mobile phone looking thing. So it's got Google Maps on it, as you can see there, which is quite handy when you are out in the wilderness. You've got essentially a sat nav built into it. Um, let me go back. It's telling me I'm in Rotherham. I'm not in Rotherham, I promise. I'm not from Rotherham either. A translator built in, which if you're traveling is amazing. Hold to talk in English. Hello, my name is Liam, and this is really good Wi-Fi. So, <laughs> that is, come on, admit it, that's quite funny. Uh, more. So we've got TripAdvisor, exchange rate, and then a support thing. Now, again, I'm not a salesman, so I don't have a brilliant sales pitch for this. As you know, in true Liam the Terrible style, I'm probably going to stutter my way through the rest of this video. I've showed you the things that this thing's got on it, and I am genuinely impressed with that. Again, you know me, I'm honest about things, um, I, I don't beat around the bush, but I'm impressed with that. Like, it's a cool looking unit, I, I really like it. Um, the, the fact that it's got extra things on it, 
unlike my bar of soap thing that does one function and doesn't even do that that well. I love this. Um, and I'm going to do some tests on it so you can see it. I love it. Genuinely love it. I think it's brilliant. Uh, but the other good thing, I mean, the, one of the main selling points to this, actually, that I, I failed to bring up first, is that this is actually a, a power bank also. So you plug your... It comes with a cable to plug into this uh, USB-C thing. Uh, and then that has a USB-A thing on it. And you can plug your phone cable straight into that. And it charges your phone and your accessories, your iPad, your Apple products. Um, which is a bit shit, really. Having an Android that powers an Apple unit. I'll have to try and deal with that in my own time. But... Am I going to recommend this thing? I'm going to recommend this thing. I'll talk to you a little bit about the tariffs and stuff once I get uh, into the... If stop using it and get into use it out mobile and all that kind of thing, I'll give you as much information as I can uh, in the way that I do it. But, so far, I've had it three days. My TV's running off it. My iPad's running off it. My phone's running off it. I've been able to go on all kinds of websites without any restrictions, which is handy. Um, let's get on to it. So, we're back on it. I've had a bit of time to play with this. I've had it for about a week now. This video was, again, you know how honest I am. You know the power. Just dropped it on the floor and it's not broke. That's a good sign. You know my power hook video where I was honest about it and I didn't necessarily give power hook the, 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 the review that they probably wanted. Uh, it wasn't because I don't like the product. It's just that I didn't think it fit into, into van life or... At least my van life. Anyway, forget about that. When, at the beginning of this video, when I first started recording this, uh, I'll be honest, I was a bit dubious about it. And I thought that the end of the video was going to be negative. And the reason for that was when they sent me the tariffs on this thing, Jesus Christ, the tariffs were not cheap at all. It was like 12 gig for like 15 quid. That's like a day, a day's use for me. If not more, probably use more than that. Like if I was going to upload this video, this video is probably probably knocking on 12 gig anyway. So it would be useless for me. So that was going to be the end of the video that, that it's useless. In the meantime, what I did was I put the SIM card out of my Huawei bar of soap thing and stuck it in this to see what happened. Now, it's worth noting that this doesn't require a SIM card to use the network that uh, that it kind of comes with. Um, you can top it up and all that kind of thing without a SIM card. It didn't come with a SIM card, but you could still use it. I'm not explaining that very well, but that's just the way it is. So I put my SIM card out of the Huawei in this. Boom, straight up, everything worked. So now it tells me I've used 54 gig, uh, almost 55 gig of usage, right? Anyway. It works with my three mobile SIM cards. The idea is that if you use your own SIM card uh, and the SIM card doesn't work internationally, let's say you go to Hong Kong or something and your provider doesn't uh, support that, you can go on and just buy temporary data. A bit like you can when you go to uh, the, the 
BT hotspot type thing where you can buy data there but this works worldwide so I was gonna upgrade that Huawei thing anyway because it's a bit tired the battery lasts two minutes on it it's constantly having to be plugged in it is just tired and it's just got a single use as well that's the other thing it's a single use thing it only has one function and that's just to provide me with some Wi-Fi this thing however as I've showed you already is a sat nav it's a translator it's got trip advisor it's got some other stuff on it the three mobile thing just pops up and also on the huawei one to do anything like change the uh the the ssid or anything i'd have to go on to uh, a website and do it well everything's on here and also i can get the app on my iphone to do it from there which is fucking which is brilliant in conclusion in conclusion to c so basically i actually really like this and i'm surprised i'm saying that because i didn't expect to like it i was already skeptical at the beginning of this video and now i'm happy with it so this thing is good so this yet again i've got yet another screen in my van that does a thing there's a link in the description of where to get this from go check them out it is a cool little thing and i am genuinely happy with it and that's the, an honest review anyway thank you very much for watching this thanks very much for the ongoing support go find yourself one of these i'll see you soon bye felicia